All right, guys. Um, I have a two thousand or two thousand seven Audi A six, and um, so I guess basically <clears throat> the wiring is kind of complicated for. Oh, sorry, my phone's about to die. Kind of complicated for wiring uh, trailer lights. As you can see, I already have them up and going, but I'm actually selling this car, so I'm taking them off. But for the actual um, trailer hitch plug-in, this, I don't know if you can see it. There we go, this right here. Um, I'll show you kind of like what the wiring looks like because there's not really anything on YouTube. So the first thing is the power. So I bought a little mini kit. Uh, it's this, I don't know. Um, so you buy your kit. It comes with a ton of wires and a little module. Um, so I have a power cord. Wow, this light sucks. All right. So I have a power cord right here, which obviously, you know, goes to the battery. I have a different setup on my new car, so. But anyway, so I'm playing transferring this. And then you have to, uh, your ground wire, which is, I believe, the white one for this kit. Um, and then an extra wire for, let's see, you have your brake, backup, or no, brake, backup, running. So this is just an extra wire. Um, you just gotta close the circuit. So when I took this in to get it done, they drilled right there. I don't know if you see it, it's a little screw. They uh, made the metal shiny, better conductor. They just grounded these two wires off. So the ground and then an additional light for this module. I don't know, fancy trailer. And then you have your three basic wires. And then these actually go all the way up to, uh, up to here. And so I'm not too positive on what these wires are called. Oh, God, I am struggling. But as you can see, uh, the brown wire goes to this like purple, try to hold it steady. That brown wire goes to this purple blue wire. Let's see if I can remove this. So the brown connects to that red, blue, I guess, not purple. Um, and this harness is this one right here. And then the yellow goes to like this lime green and brown. And then the green, oh my gosh. The green actually goes I don't know where the green goes. I'm trying to find it. Okay, there we go. So the green wire, this one, goes to this blue. I think it's just a straight up blue wire. Yep, it's just a straight up blue wire. And these are all found in here. So. So you can pause it and like look if you need to see it better. But one is just a straight up blue wire. One's like a green, gray. And then the other is this like blue, purple. Or blue, red, my bad. And so those are your uh, wires you want to, I would not recommend splicing into them. Uh, splicing into these cars is a really bad idea. I would suggest getting taps. I did splice into it and that's why I had to, or that's why they ha I did take it back and have them ground it better. Um, but yeah, if you use taps, you wouldn't have to worry about that. And then you would have your working lights. I already unplugged it, but I have a little trailer hitch thing that shows you when you turn on the lights, it will blink and all that fun stuff. So... But uh, hopefully this will help people if they're deciding to do trailer hitches. Um, one last thing, I guess. The actual trailer hitch mounting itself, it's not too complicated. I mounted an LED bar and ran the power cords through here, through the bottom of those little cups right here. Then you just have your power 
and ground. And then I have a whole switch toggle. Uh, I just buy a switch off eBay. It works a lot easier than making our own. But um, these trailer hitches are really easy to mount. Um, it's just basically, I think one or two bolts down there. So, and then there's like a bolt that goes through the frame like this way and the same on the other side, but you do need a, um, I think it's a T10 bit to drop the, um, exhaust system so you can get this mounted properly and yeah, it can tow like 3000 pounds or whatever. So not a bad little tow car. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.